কোন అనమాట <laughs> 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 మసిల్ పెయిన్స్ వస్తాయి అలా తీసి పైనుంచి తీసుకుని ఒక్కొక్కటి పెడితే సో మనకి అంటే అందేలా ఉన్నాయండి ఐ మీన్ ఓకే ఈజీ యాక్సెస్ ఈజీ యాక్సెస్ ఆ yes ఓకే థాంక్యూ దే ఆర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ వీడియో దే ఆర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ గుడ్ పోస్చర్ పోస్చర్ అంటే మనం పన్ చేసే పొజిషన్ అంటే కూర్చొని పని చేస్తున్నామా whether we are doing work sitting position or whether the performing our work in standing position or whether we are doing semi sitting yeah. it is talking about the posture first then it is talking about the weight they are talking about the task weight also in second video which means you, if you are uh, providing a, a lifting activity by the operator you should not give a 20 kg or 30 kg weight to carry every time it should be one of the factor and we have to arrange whatever the tools or whatever the raw material or whatever the uh, requirement uh, which the person has to perform the job it should be easy access once he stretch the hand he should able to pick up and he will be able to perform the activity and they are talking about repetitive movement whatever the repetitive movements are there that also we have to consider this were the some of the uh, ergonomic related inputs and uh, let's back to the session i hope uh, you people are able to see my screen yes sir yeah thank you okay awkward body position and a wrong body posture that may leads to any injury position causing difficulty and repetitive task producing boredom and tightness which means both are same we because of you are moving repetitively we are twisting our uh, backbone very repetitively what will happen after some time we'll get some pain or we'll feel stress or tightness confusing signals causing human errors in hurry some of the signals will be confusing in shaft floor that will be also have a error and bend or awkward posture while handling heavy materials and causing back pain we have seen a video if he is trying to lift a body i mean uh, the heavy object if it is not lifting properly there will be a chance of back pain so if it is back pain i got an idea just a second i will show you one more video Uh, because last time many people have seen that is a very nice information that is the perfect video for the ergonomic lifting one second one second one second yeah this is a one minute video so that uh, people get good knowledge how it can lift yeah this is the perfect example one more example for the ergonomic factors while lifting a job whatever the size either it is a small either it is a big see the video
I hope uh, this is the nice video. Sometimes uh, we may also get into the wrong lifting method and uh, we'll get injured our back. And um, if you are, some people, people are going for gym, the gym trainer will tell how to do a deadlift and how to do a squats with a weight, which means if you are lifting a heavy weight, which means, I mean, it is a, for example, uh, more than uh, 20 kg or 30 kg or 40 kg, we have to use our longer muscles as well as so that the back should be straight. With that, the weight will not come. Parodi, Parodi, can you please close the door? Sorry. Okay, so that the back will not get injured, we will be safe. The bend and awkward posture while handling heavy material can cause a back pain. Just now we seen how he is bending initially. He is bending fully so that his backbone is twisting so that his backbone get injured. And second one, perceptual limitations. Some people have a limitation. Perceptual means they, they think their own. Perceptual limitations. They will think that, oh, this is very small. I lift, I am a bodybuilder like that. They will think and they will get into trouble. And short term memory. This is also one of the ergonomic problem. Short term memory. The people will forget. And incompatibility in man mission relationship. For example, the man is not suitable with the mission. Some of the mission they work faster. For example, they're a uh, one young person, 22 or uh, 25 or 30, below 30 years age fellow is good to fit that mission. We are appointing one 45 or 50 uh, age people. What will happen? He cannot match with that mission. He cannot take the speed of that mission. Risk or chance taking. Some people will take risk or chance. They will take shortcut. And position or location not suitable to a worker, such a unsuitable work height, seat, layout, or control. In first video, we seen initially the table was good. Then later on, they increased the table height, which means it is not comfortable to perform his activity. Whatever the weights we are keeping, which is very close to the shoulder level, so that they can easily take the job without having any strain. And one more thing, whatever the heavy objects we used to store in our store, we used to keep our more weight, excess weight jobs in the lower side because we cannot lift the heavy objects above shoulder level. We cannot take it out. We can, but it will give a excess strain on our joints or excess strain on our muscles. And organization of heavy work, doing heavy work, I mean, more than capability. For example, multitasking. Somebody will do multitasking. Instead of one work, they used to perform three, four activities. And environment. Environment we have discussed. Environment which is, of, which is all about how the environment, the temperature, how the work is, it is the workplace is clean or neat, that kind of thing. These are the some of the human factors have to consider while study ergonomic and one more topic maintenance and repair of guards we have seen the guard types uh, design and how it will work and principles of guarding design now we will see the the maintenance precautions and what are the things we have to consider while doing a maintenance activity as per the section 21 of the factors act states the guard shall be consistently maintained and kept in position which means whatever the guards we have designed or we have equipped with the machine it should be consistently maintained means they have to be in a good condition kept in position which means it has to be positioned always the maintenance is a obviously necessary because a machine running without guard or with a open or broken guard pose damage or pose danger Maintenance is compulsory. We are not saying that, okay, we are not doing. We have to do a maintenance. Otherwise, without a guard or the machine is in running open condition or broken guards will cause a danger, which means there is a 
chance of danger and regular inspection of guards can detect the guard removed damaged or required a report in this inspection in proactive approach we have to inspect all the mission guards if you are inspecting a mission guard regularly as per the frequency we have scheduled we can identify any guard been removed which means sometimes the maintenance people will do maintenance and after that they may forgot to keep or any guard got damage any damaged guard is there or any guard required a repairs any minor repair or major repairs we can identify with the regular inspection a guard removal for a repair should be fitted at the earliest possible and meanwhile temporary guard should be installed or the machine should be started for example if you are removing any guard it should be installed as early as possible otherwise if you are unable to install immediately meanwhile we have to arrange a temporary guard it should not be in open condition means we should not keep it open whatever the running parts or we should stop the machine these are three conditions if you are going for a repair it should be replaced as early as possible or we have to give a replacement for the guard or we have to stop the machine so that we can avoid accidents a good maintenance increase the life of the guard if you are maintaining properly if there any vibration is coming the maintenance technician identified and immediately he tighten the guard so that we can avoid damage and we are frequently checking and we are cleaning and we are painting some of the guards will get rusted exposing to the external environment and we have identified in our inspections and we are doing frequent maintenance which means we are painting the guards so that we can avoid damage the guard should be so designed or fitted that it is not opened for oiling greasing or nearby maintenance work which means in such a way that we have to design a guard we should not open for oiling greasing or any nearby small maintenance which means some of the guards required for small small greasing activity also some machines may do i mean need need uh, need to do greasing or oiling every day or every shift or uh, twice in a week thrice in a week or every alternate day in that case what will happen for every time we'll do the we'll remove the guard do the oiling after some time the people will get fatigue are baba kal to bhi dalna padega na kal to bhi oiling karna hai theek hai chhod denge aisa rakh denge apna kaam bach jayega they will think that okay rep kota malli maname cheyali din enduku pette dan cheppesi dan open lo pettesi oiling chesi ellipotharu due to that the unknown people they met with this running part or moving part these are the some of the uh, points and we'll see some other also and the part needing regular service should be located outside the guard we have seen something it has to be do it has to be a provision this is the guard we have kept outside this is the part if we need any service it should be outside for example any service is required it should be a bit outside we have 